pleasure to introduce the Minister of Labour for British Columbia, the BCP NDP MLA for Surrey Newton, sisters, brothers and friends, Minister of Labour, the Honourable Harry Baines. My sisters and brothers, after 16 years of long and hard wait, how do you feel today? And you know what? I'm excited as hell as well. Can I say that? <laughs> uh, we're talking to our neighbor friends here. Yes, I'm so excited to be with you today as your Minister of Labor. And I tell you, 1966, at your first meeting, when Tommy Douglas came, and he said that the political decision would be paramount to labor movement. You know what? They still ring true today, after 51 years. Whether it is ensuring safety for workers, giving workers a long overdue raise by increasing minimum wage, or bringing back the Human Rights Commission dismantled by your predecessors, you can trust that your government is fighting for families and real issues like affordability, good paying jobs, improved public service, and an economy that works for everyone. The theme of this picnic, inclusiveness, with a focus on new immigrants that are contributing to our BC economy and communities. Sisters and brothers, I too came to Canada like many of you as a young spirited immigrant. And guess what? Canada gave me what I needed, and you know what? It's time for us to get back to Canada. That's what you are doing day in and day out. And I want to thank you, New Westminster District Labor Council, for continuing to work to improve the living standard of working people and to protect their health and safety at workplaces. You know, that task continues and struggle will continue to go on as we proceed every day. With your new government, that task will become, I hopefully, much easier now to achieve. You know, Labor Day was founded on these principles despite the progress of the labor movement, the advances made for the working men and women and successes we celebrate on Labor Day, the role of union remain as relevant today as it was in 1870s. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise. Providing certainty of safe and fair working condition in the workplace, ensuring vulnerable workers are safeguarded, making certain equality and diversity are valued, and enforcement as well as swift actions and consequences are applied when necessary. There is a bold contrast. After 16 years, it is time for change. It is what we, the BC NDP, committed to and what we have been called upon to provide for workers in BC. The previous government, as you know, was neither focused on workers or workers' conditions, but we are. We are focused on better employment standards and improved health and safety. Workers' rights has always been my mission. Today, it is my mandate as a Minister of Labor, but I also want to make sure that that is the legacy that we want to leave behind. So let me summarize my clear message to all workers in British Columbia that my mission and my mandate from my Premier is this, that we want to make BC the safest workplace regime in all of Canada. And we will do that by having a strong and effective prevention and enforcement regimes. And when injured workers needed help at work safe, you understand work safe? Should I call a workers' compensation board? If you don't understand that, I don't blame you. That they are treated with respect and dignity, that they get the health care and rehab services so that they are ready to go back to work to become, again, a productive workers. To our non-union workers, help is on the way. That we will have a better and higher standards for you and a strong enforcement regime and when you need help, that your, uh, your complaints are investigated and justice delivered on a timely fashion. 
and that if you choose to join a union of your choice, that there's no interference or there's no intimidation by no one, especially your bosses. <laughs> to my unionized friends and brothers and sisters, let me tell you this, we have already started with a new leadership at the Labor Relations Board. So that you have a Labor Relations Board where you can trust and have confidence that your issues will be dealt with in fairness, with balance, and objectivity. And you know what? A lot of work needs to be done. Sister Irene, let me tell you, the minimum wage is going to $15 an hour come hell and high water. Mark my word. And once again, thank you so much, brothers and sisters. Continue to work and help those who need your support. Continue to move health and safety because I need your support. Those workers need your support. And all those activists in the health and safety, you play a valuable role, and I will be depending on you to bring those changes. So thank you very much. Have a great Labor Day. I'll get Harry to stay up here with me. I'll ask uh, Sister Mayhew with me as well. So I promised you, you've waited patiently 16 years in the making.